Thank you for joining me in this unusual and special valuation for Boeing Corporation. But first, let me remind you that this video is not a financial advice and is for entertainment purposes only. And please subscribe to this channel to motivate me to make more videos that you might find beneficial so it's a win-win for both of us. As you may know, Boeing is an American corporation that designs, manufactures and sells airplanes, rockets, satellites and telecommunication equipment around the world. Since 2019, it has been in a financial trouble and losing money. Things went south when two separate 737 MAX airplanes, that's by the way their newest model, crashed due to a sensor error that basically forced the airplane's nose down until it crashed to the ground and about 350 people died. So this airplane was grounded worldwide and sales dropped from 90 billion in 2018 to 76 billion in 2019 and the free cash flow went from 13.6 billion to negative 4 billion. Crazy, from 13.6 to negative 4. It's a reminder that even stable and mature companies can experience turbulence and have some risk. Then before the company catches a breath from this dangerous situation, the pandemic hit, sending the airlines industry to complete stop, which again negatively impacted Boeing revenue and brought it down to 58 billion and the free cash flow to negative 19.7. So just in two years, the free cash flow went from 13.6 to negative 19.7. The reason that the revenue didn't basically go to zero is that Boeing has two other operating segments that generates revenue to the corporation and they are defense, space and security segment and global services segment. Only commercial airplanes, which is about 31% of 2021 revenue, got affected by the worldwide order to ground 737 MAX and the COVID-19 pandemic. And you can imagine when a company doesn't do well in its day-to-day -day operations, it will get cash from other two resources available to pay for its expenses and basically just to survive. And the two other resources that I'm talking about is debt and issuing more shares. And that is exactly what Boeing did. The debt almost doubled in 2020 to 42% of total assets and their ability to service their debt, which is measured by the times interest earned ratio, went to zero. Also, they issued more stocks as you can see in this graph. And I don't think you'll be surprised if I say that Boeing stopped distributing dividends. So starting from 2020, it's not a dividend company anymore. After all this being said, guess what the stock is trading for? Around 155 when recording this video. So I tried approaching this valuation using the regular financial statement analysis, but it will not give me any value. So I decided to use a different approach to put a value on this stock. First, you should know that Boeing is still in a very unique situation and has a huge market share and competitive advantage because the barrier to entry in this industry is super high. So the likelihood that a competitor will take over Boeing's market share is very low. In other words, the potential to come back as a profitable and dividend company is very high. But the million dollar question is, when it will come back and with what capacity. We know that the free cash flow in 2022 is still a negative number because we have the 2022 Q3 report and the free cash flow got a lot better as you can see here, but it's still a negative number. So the only way I can forecast when they will come back as a profitable company is by the number of airplanes they are manufacturing and delivering every year because that's a good indication of how much the revenue will be and the free cash flow. As you can see in this graph, Boeing delivered more airplanes in 2021 compared to 2020, which helped the free cash flow to go from negative 19.7 billion to negative 4.3 billion, which is definitely a step in the right direction. Also, I found a piece of information in the 2021 annual report that I think is a helpful clue to forecast 2023 revenue. They have about 355 airplanes in inventory in December 21 and expected to be delivered by the end of 2023. So if we say that in 2023 Boeing manufactures 340 airplanes just like in 2021 and delivers the 355 inventory, that will bring the total airplanes sold to 695. And if we prorate 2018 revenue to the number of airplanes delivered and use that to forecast 2023 revenue, 
then Boeing will have about 78 billion in revenue in 2023. And if we use the average free cash flow to revenue ratio from 2016 to 2018, that is 12.4%, then in my opinion, the free cash flow in 2023 will be 9.6 billion. To be conservative, let's assume that Boeing will continue to issue more shares and there will be about 690 million shares outstanding at the end of 2023. That will give us about $15 free cash flow per share. And if we use 4.46 as a discount rate, that is the interest rate for two year treasury note and 5% return on investment, then in my opinion, the fair value for the stock is $297.33 at the end of 2023. The current price is about $155, so that will give us about 92% return on investment from now to the end of 2023 and 5% after that. Keep in mind that there is a high risk in this scenario and is justified by the possible 92% growth in the stock price between now and 2023. I really want to know what you think about this unusual valuation and how we can make it better and accurate. Before we end this video, I want to thank you in advance for supporting this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and liking this video.